From a potential vampire corpse to the horrifying tale of China's only female emperor, here are the top 5 terrifying discoveries made by archaeologists. Number 5 on this list is decapitated gladiators. Being an archaeologist must be very difficult because at one point finding the remains of a dead person could be a great historical find and at the other point you just found the remains of a dead person. Live Science says a set of skeletons discovered in York, England belong to tall men who died before the age of 43. What makes them gruesome is that all of them had also lost their heads. Their heads were buried with them, sometimes on their chests and sometimes between their legs or feet. Researchers aren't sure why most of the skeletons at the Driftfield Terrace were decapitated. They date to between the 2nd and 4th centuries AD when the area was part of the Northern Roman Empire. Because most of the skeletons were particularly tall and showed signs of trauma, they may be the bones of gladiators. They might also have been military men. A genetic analysis analysis of seven of the decapitated skeletons found that six hailed from Britain while one may have come from Lebanon or Syria. As if being a gladiator and having to fight to the death for people's entertainment wasn't bad enough, but these poor buggers got their heads chopped off in the process. Maybe they actually got their heads chopped off in the gladiator ring. That was something that happened every now and again. When one clear gladiator won and the other had lost, they would finish them off by chopping their heads off. What's interesting is that these remains were found in Britain. Britain in that area wasn't necessarily known for having gladiators. That doesn't mean that they didn't have their own version of them though. It's very possible that hundreds of years ago they did and the tournaments didn't end up going in these guys' favor. Either way, a great and interesting find, but still super creepy. A discovery like this is the type that's usually accompanied by some type of ancient curse or something. Wouldn't be surprised if whoever dug these bones up is dealing with the ghost of a dead gladiator or something like that. Number four on this list is the Pit of Death. Any Anything called the Pit of Death does not sound like something I'd want to discover. Live Science says, a property development project in France uncovered something truly shocking in 2012. A pit, six and a half feet deep and five feet in diameter, filled to the brim with bones. Even more sickening, the bones consisted of severed arms and fingers as well as the skeletons of infants, children, and adults. Researchers found at least seven upper arms, including one from a young teenager. On top of the amputated limbs, seven bodies had been tossed into the pit, including that of a middle-aged man who'd had an arm chopped off and suffered a blow to the head. These bones dated back about 5,335 years. We just had a big stew of bones going on here that these archaeologists were unlucky enough to fish up. These bones would have been back in Neolithic times and were probably a byproduct of some type of warfare. The people who discovered them also theorized that this pit may have served as a justice system of some type. Like if you break the rules, then we throw you into this pit to die or something along those lines. Either way, discovering a big heap of dead bodies from thousands of years ago has got to be pretty terrifying. I don't agree with everything the legal system does now, but at least we don't need to worry about being thrown into a death pit somewhere. Number three on this list is the vampire burials. We have talked about vampires a lot on this channel before. Whether they're real or not is still up for debate, but these archaeologists have found some evidence to suggest that some people thought that they really were. Live Science says the real story behind Eastern European vampires is quite possibly creepier than the fictionalized tales of Dracula. Between the 16 and 1700s in Poland, some some people were buried with sickles over their necks or rocks wedged under their chins. These precautions were taken to prevent the dead from rising again as vampires who, locals believed, would return to suck the blood of friends and family. In 2014, researchers found that the vampire burials at Drosko Cemetery in Poland were the bodies of locals who had not died of trauma. They were likely victims of an epidemic that would have felled them rapidly, the researchers told Live Science. So maybe vampires, maybe not. Either way, it's pretty scary. Scary. If they weren't vampires, then they would have just been regular people who got sick, were probably killed, and then had to get a giant rock shoved in their mouths when they're put in the ground. Creepy. But then again, if they are real vampires, then you just found some literal dead vampires, and that's not good for anyone involved. No matter how you slice this one, it's just kind of all bad. Kind of hoping that they aren't real vampires, though, because if they are, who knows if they're dead for good. We don't really need some undead vampires coming back to life and sucking all of our blood. Solid no thanks for me on that one. Number two on this list is cannibalism. All right, so you're probably wondering, how did they discover cannibalism? Well, 
help, they discovered the evidence of cannibalism, and let me tell you, it's not pretty. Lip Science says when Sir John Franklin and his crew headed off for the Arctic expedition in 1845, they hoped to navigate the Northwest Passage. They almost certainly did not expect that they'd be resorting to cannibalism within a few short years. The Franklin Expedition's two ships, the HMS Terror and the HMS Erebus, became trapped in ice which failed to melt summer after summer. By April 1848, 24 men had died and the remaining crew set off in an attempt to trek to the nearest trading post. None were ever heard from again. Over time, the bones of some of the crew members were found. In 2015, researchers reported that the bones had been hacked and boiled and many were even cracked to get at the marrow inside. The discovery speaks to the very desperate situation in which those men found themselves. You have to imagine yourself in that situation and would you do the same? And that's it guys, what would you do? It's the 1840s, you're freezing to death, you're starving, do you eat your fellow comrade? It's obviously a pretty brutal question that I think nobody wants to be forced to answer. The archaeologists saw the remnants of this problem head on and I imagine it scarred a lot of them for life. And finally number one on this list is Yan Shiwei. This is a tragic story of China's only female emperor which was discovered by some archaeologists when they uncovered her tomb. Live Science says you work for years supporting the first female emperor to China and smoothing her rise to power. You break your own arm instead of fighting against her for a rebel army. You help her mollify civil disorder and then your little brother goes rogue and gets you all executed. That's the sad story of Yan Shiwei, one of the favorite officials of Wu Zetian, the founder of China's Zhu dynasty. Archaeologists uncovered Yan Shiwei's 1300 year old tomb and discovered the tale on a stone inscribed epitaph. Yan Shiwei's little brother, Yan Shiwei, turned against Wu Zetian around 699. As a collective punishment, the entire family was executed and according to the carvings, carelessly buried. Wow, we got an entire Game of Thrones season out of this terrifying discovery. Apparently the execution really wasn't all that nice either folks. This discovery is truly a window into what life would have been like back in that time. It really was the wild west back then and pretty much anything went. Pretty scary to picture how all of this went down though. Who knows, maybe HBO will see this story's potential and put it on the screen for all of us. But there you have it guys, that is our list of the top 5 terrifying discoveries made by archaeologists. Please let me know in the comments down below what you thought about this list and some other crazy discoveries you may know about. Also please hit the like and subscribe button, thank you so much for watching, I've been your host Nicholas Playlog and I'll catch you next time.